Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now in this tutorial, I will talk about another very good Salesforce Google Chrome extension that you can use and it will be very, very helpful for you, especially when you are working in a different, different environment. So if you are working in a sandbox environment, which is like a developer sandbox, then you also have a test and then you also have a what you call UAT environment and then you have a production environment. So what you can do is rather than all these tabs are open rather than going and checking out each of the URLs and then your your, your usernames telling you, okay, this is T environment, this is a UAT environment, this is a developer sandbox. What happens is this particular uh, Salesforce color favicon extension, actually what it does is it gives you different color to the clouds. Okay, so you can change the color to red for production if you want, you can change the color to green if you want. So rather than looking at the URL and all that, all you do have to look at is this cloud sign or cloud color and then it will be remember, oh, this is this environment. So this is very good and a very cool uh, extension to have. So in order to download this extension, you can go to your apps here, go to the web store and then just write in the name here is called Salesforce Colored Favicons. Okay, this is the extension that I was talking about and as you can see here, it basically overrides the standard Salesforce favicon with the color based on the sandbox. Okay, whichever environment you are in, you can go ahead and hit the add to Chrome, add the extension. The moment you do that, it will appear over here. You can see here on your bar, you see this Salesforce colored favicon has been added. And here what you can do is you can actually tell which color you wanted to do. So these are the instances that you have. So right now I'm, this is what I'm logged in as. I'll refresh it. Let me just refresh this and it will pull up. This is the instance, right? So now the color has changed to something this rather than blue. So if you wanted to change, let's say to the production environment, I want to make it a little red. If you want to make it a little red, you can do that. You can do something like this. You can make it like a red color. So you know that, hey, I'm working in a production environment. So once you hit the save button, if I refresh it, the color will change now and the color will change to red. So you know that right away that, hey, this is a production environment. Similarly, if you're working in a different sandbox, let's say I have my office sandbox here. I'm not going to log in, but I'm just going to show you that once this is there, if I refresh it, I can see here that the color is now there's another thing that popped up. This is my company. So now what I can do is I can go and change this color to, let's say I wanted to make it a little green. So now you can go ahead and make it green here. So anytime you are in this environment, let's say, then what will happen is the cloud color will be green. And similarly, when you are in this environment, which is your production environment, the cloud color would be red. So these are the different colors that you can provide and based on whatever the sandbox instance that you wanted to give whatever color you want. So this comes out very, very handy because uh, whenever you are using uh, this, working with multiple sandboxes, this is very, very good. I hope you like this extension and if you're working with different different environments i would highly encourage you guys to have this extension added to your google chrome thank you guys